Well, I won't give up on us, even if this sky. Hey guys, so we're gonna create a blur transition, both cross fades and a fade out one. Um, and let's go for it. So I've got my free clips here, they're not the right length, so this is gonna be interesting, but I'll make it work because it's close. So if we just pick out some beats. Even if this that's, that's this one's gonna be really long. So they're my free beats. Um this isn't quite long enough, so I'm just gonna control hold control and just stretch out so it's long enough. I'm gonna do that same for each of them. Um don't know what this is gonna look like. Okay, so we're going to um, do the blur at the start of um, Clark's face for the first one. Now, we have, I usually use um, this one, which I have no idea how you pronounce, Gaussian, Gaussian? I'm useless. Oh well. Um, and then these are obviously a setting I used to use. Um, so we add that to the clip and then we click the little clock or if you're in Sony Vegas 10 or below, it'll be a little button down here that says, or over here that says animate. Click that, brings this up. Um, and this is where our blur is. Now, if we press this button here, which is like matches your um, this to the timeline, we can decide where we want him in full focus. I'm going to say here. Looks like a good, good place um, to have him in full focus. So that we need to just put back to zero. Now, obviously this isn't going to last that long. So I usually drag this out so that um, it doesn't start to fade out of the blur until later. So I hold the blur for a lot longer. Um, and then that will look like this. Pressing Shift B on the keyboard to render a little section so yeah that's it that's the blur that one and then for this one we'll do the same thing i forgot to point out before that um i've personally only done it so that we blur the horizontal you um could match them it will look a little different it will look like this to have it so it's a bit more strong blurred um, but I actually quite like it just to have one it feels it's not quite I don't know I quite like this effect but both both is good in fact I will show you this one for the second one so that we've got two different ones now this one obviously we want at the end so we have to decide where we want her to be fully blurred I'm gonna say around here because we want to be able to do it quite a lot and then when when do we want it to start to burn i'd probably say at the beginning at the beginning of the fade um so she's in focus for the entire of her clip and as she fades out she blurs as well so make sure that everything's to zero horizontal and vertical range um channels just make sure everything's clicked because we're not changing the colors or anything but actually i don't know if it does that i don't can't remember what it does um, but yeah, and I'll quickly show you what that one does. Us, even if the skies. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, I these are my settings that I chose a long time ago for for a um, Danny and Riley video. Um, but you can make it stronger. So if we say she needs to be a little stronger. Actually, I realise we haven't done the effect that I wanted to do. There you go. So that's like she's gonna be pretty blurred. Um that's probably that's way too strong actually, I don't know why we'd ever want it that strong. So I'm gonna go for three hundred really for both. And then that will look actually like this. My computer's a little slow today, it's been on too long. Oh sorry. Oh my gosh, I am a mess. 
I need to make sure that everything, this first one is to zero so she's in full focus. Um, there you go. Us, even if the skies. Yeah. So it's just another simple transition. I think it looks quite nice in slower videos. I mean, it looks like them both, but um, there you've got the option of doing it at the beginning of the clip as it fades in. That kind of feels like the end of this one, but actually it's clock space that's going in. And then I quite like doing it at the end of long fades. I uh, quite like doing that. Um, that's your effect. It's really easy. It's uh, go to video effects, this filler. You can click default, whatever you want. Play with the settings you want. Make sure you animate it out. Um, and that's it.